What is up guys, in today's video we're going to be spectating random players in Fortnite's zero build for the first time in the Fortnite Mares update. As always, if you guys do enjoy this video, remember to give it a like, subscribe if you like to see more, and comment down below what you think of the Fortnite Mares patch. I think it's pretty solid. I don't think it's the best Fortnite Nightmares ever. I don't think it's the worst Fortnite Nightmares ever. It's just kind of in the middle, I would say. Like, it, it's fine. Uh, as far as this video goes, though, I don't think the meta really changed too much with this update. Like, the Witch's Broom is back. That's that's great. But I think I would rather have Shockwaves, the Shockwave Launcher, or the Katana instead. And then the Wooden Stake Shotgun can be good, but it's not personally my favorite. So... There's like a lot of stuff that was added in this update that I think is definitely viable. Like it's not just terrible, you should just avoid it forever. But I don't think it's going to really change the meta too much. Aside from like the addition of the katana back into the game, but it's a mythic. I guess we can go to Eclipse Estate and then we could spectate the person that ends up getting that. But I don't know how this is going to play out because it takes so long to kill Kato that we're going to be hearing the music for a long time in this video. The Kato boss has a lot of HP. Probably, eh, I don't know if it's the most HP they've had in a boss, but pro definitely the most in Chapter 4, I would say. It takes a while to kill him. So if you are going to be landing here and trying to get the Mythic Katana, I would not worry about the boss or the vault at all. I would just worry about eliminating the other players. Because like I talked about, it takes quite a while to eliminate Kato. So you don't really have to worry about someone just like quickly getting rid of him and then leaving the POI like how you would for the other vault POIs or even this one earlier on in the season like I felt like you always wanted to like get to the vault quickly and stop other players because people could just like quickly grab it and go but that's not really going to be the case anymore because Kato does take uh, quite a while to eliminate this player is going to be using the vampire stake shotgun this is very similar to the heavy shotgun like it shoots wooden stakes but it performs similar to the heavy in that it, it just shoots one thing and then you either hit that and get all of your damage or you miss it and get none of it and it makes it a very like uh inconsistent weapon it's it's weird because like the shotguns in fortnite are inconsistent as far as what damage you get but this is inconsistent on whether or not you're going to get damage at all when you hit them, you're going to get like consistent damage, but it's harder to hit somebody than it would be with another shotgun. So if you do get into like an awkward fight and maybe end up missing like two to three times over the course of it, uh, that can really add up because you get no damage. Whereas like if you had like a sharp tooth or a maven in that situation, you would have gotten like at least some damage, you know? And I think that's why a lot of players uh, tend to avoid this weapon. And then also from my experience being at this POI, if somebody is fighting Kato, everybody else will see his health bar. So if Kato was getting attacked right now, this player would be aware of it. I'm not sure if that's going to show on Spectator or not, but it's just something to know because, like I said, you don't really have to worry about being in as much of a rush uh, when it comes to this POI. You can just really take your time, get rid of all the players, and then deal with Kato. Because dealing with Kato is not hard. He, he's pretty easy to eliminate, I think. It just takes a while. The real, like, risk is if you're, like, fighting him, and then, like, you also have to deal with, like, getting third party by other players at the same time. That's when there's just, like... A lot going on. It would have been unfortunate if this player died to those NPCs. And you can use this wooden stake shotgun on Kato. It does like bonus damage to vampires. But when I tried that, it didn't really make that much of a difference. Like it probably performs better than the other shotguns would versus Kato. But I would still just rather be using like my shotgun or my SMG versus him. Sounds like somebody is down in the Kato room, potentially. Player's gonna get their augments. Again, like I said, you're not in any rush at this POI anymore. Because it, it takes so long to eliminate him. It's almost better for you if you can just, like, come in when he's already, like, somewhat weak. Sounds like there's somebody on the level of the player that we're currently spectating. I wish visual audio showed. Please just run past the turret. Okay, thank you. Uh, some players, like, overthink these turrets so much, and if you just, like, run past them, you're fine. Somebody right in front of him? The shotgun isn't going to do that much damage. So, like, that's actually worked out perfectly. It, it It's, like, the, the heavy and that it just, like, shoots a single thing, but I feel like the range on it isn't as insane as, like, the heavy's range was. And that's one thing I really disliked about this is because I, like, think of it like the heavy shotty, but, like, I don't know, 64 damage there is still fine, but I would have expected the heavy to, like do like 80 or 90 there still so he dropped the, the wooden stake shotgun for this gold infiltrator i don't know if okay he's gonna put that there to block i don't think it's gonna block anybody actually though 
It looked like it might have like overlapped to the point where there's like a like the players coming in can just like easily ignore it. He should be able to get this kill. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, it worked out, but that was stressful. Uh, I feel like you don't want to be aiming in there with the burst. I would have just wanted to get on him with the shotgun because like he has some amount of damage and then that player has already been fighting Kato. So like odds are they're not full HP, you know? He's kind of lucky that player's RPG wasn't loaded. And unfortunately Kato's health doesn't show on Spectator. I feel like you just want to not be using a shotgun versus him. Okay, he's dead. But like I was saying before, the wooden stake shotgun does do extra damage. There's a player right in front of him. He just plays right shoulder peak. I don't know if that RPG is loaded or not, but he could easily splash damage on it there. This is going to make the other player push him probably though. Oh no, what are you doing? All right, so like he almost lost that. Again, like I said, that's probably going to make the other player push him. It immediately happened. If you're going to RPG their cover like that, just immediately switch to your other weapon and get ready to shotgun them because like they're going to push you if you just rpg their cover even if it didn't break it that guy probably would have pushed him uh but like i was about to say the wooden stake shotgun does do more damage to kato than the other shotguns but i just don't even want to be using a shotgun on him i just use a spray weapon and then like constantly reposition over the course of a fight because he mostly just does that melee attack and then like the HP drain, but like a lot of his damage seems to be the melee attack. So you just want to keep your distance from him the entire time, I think. Imagine they just did all that and then forgot the katana. That is something I would do. Not sure what they're doing. I don't know if they like got visual audio on somebody else here or not. This is an interesting choice of weapons though. No AR, just shotgun, RPG, double mobility. It could work, but it's very one-dimensional. I want to see if this bunker was messed up. So yeah, sometimes when you place a bunker like this, that top layer doesn't, that bottom layer doesn't have like a thing there. I don't know if that default had to break something to get in or not because of the way it was thrown. Because it made like the bunker above. And then usually when the bunker gets made above, um, the bottom part is safe. Another thing that's kind of not ideal about this setup, I think, is the pizza. So you can either throw, like, hold the pizza in your inventory and then you have the whole box, or you can choose to carry the slices individually. I typically carry the slices individually because, like, if I'm getting shot and I need to heal, I need it as fast as possible. And I definitely have had situations where I, like, get on somebody and they're, like, they just threw their pizza box down and then they're, like, looking at it and they haven't even accumulated any HP yet. Also, I would much rather have shockwaves over the broom if I was going to run double mobility. I don't really care for the witch's broom for some reason with it returning. If you like... Just leave, please. Oh, is this person stuck in here? No. I, th I think they don't know how to get out. They were like so concerned about... Okay, there they go. They were like so concerned about not taking storm damage there that they I feel like they're going to take way more storm damage. But with the witch's broom, like, if you use it, you have to, like, take your gun out after you land, and it makes it, like, really awkward to use if you're gonna land on somebody. But even if you're just landing near somebody, it's, like, kind of weird, and it's something that, like, I, I make a note of. Whenever someone uses the witch's broom to get on me, I, like, am very down for that to happen, because they're not gonna have their gun out, and I'm gonna have mine out. He's gonna look back at the person that was just shooting him, but I don't even think that was a person. I think it was one of the henchmen. I could be wrong, though. Okay, maybe it was a real person. Alrighty then. GG's to that man. I really don't like their inventory. No AR is bizarre, but they do have the double mobility to just be like all over the place potentially. They have a good amount of kills. But I uh, really don't really see the need to run double mobility with the katana. Like, I would sometimes run double mobility if I got, like, the exotic maven. But even then, if I was going to use the exotic maven, I would rather have ice wall uh, and shockwaves or ice wall and katana or ice wall and witch's broom than double mobility, I think, this season. Like, the ice wall is just so good. If I'm going to just run two guns, I'd want to be using that. Not sure what this player is really looking for here. Maybe their cache is over here. It's possible. Oh, there's a person there. They got the God Awareness. 
The the person right in front of them, that's an NPC. They're following that other player. Also, with this player having the RPG, I think you definitely would want Shockwave to be able to like Shockwave RPG combo. The Witch's Broom doesn't go well with that, and the Katana doesn't as well. He's gonna go for the Katana Melee, which is something I personally kind of always forget even is a thing you can do because I never do it. And then he just immediately got destroyed by the Thermal DMR. And that is why you want to get good opening tags before you push somebody, but if you have no ranged weapon, you can't get opening tags. And this is what it is. And imagine if he didn't die there, but instead he decided to back up and try to use his pizza. The fact that he didn't already have the slices in, in his inventory could have come back to cost him. But it, it didn't matter because this person killed him so quick. What is he going to drop for the pizza? The broom? I think that's a good play. I don't care for the thermal DMR, but if this player, it clearly works for them. You already have a crown, sir. You already have one. Alright, you're good to go. You're, you're good to go. One thing that really, like, tilts me when I'm making these videos is how long people take to loot and, like, how long they stick around after they kill somebody. Because, like, you guys know how it is to play Fortnite. Whenever you hear somebody shooting anywhere near you, you're trying to third party that, you know? And just because it didn't happen doesn't mean it's, like, not good to just stand next to loot. I, I want to, like, get my kill and then get out of there as fast as possible. Because when people third party you, it's so much easier for them than it is for you. This person's going to go for the burst instead of the combat sub. Interesting. What is zone looking like? Island, I feel like it's going to spawn here or here. I, I feel like it's going to be one of those two spawns. Uh, this zone is not great. It's probably going to end in Mega City, I would imagine. That'd be my guess. But we'll see. If it keeps pulling, like, far. But, like, I don't know. I feel like I very rarely have games end out here, but I have a decent amount of games in Mega City. And this is the only katana on the map is from this boss and it's very good but i feel like it also kind of like makes you a target I don't, I don't know if i'm the only one but anytime i see somebody using it i want to like kill them and get that katana and if you're playing team game modes from my understanding you also only get one so it's like not like some of the previous mythics where everybody would get one in the team uh it's it's only one per team it's only one on the map even in team game mode so it's like kind of scuffed in that regard like if you're playing squads and you have it your pacing is probably going to be a lot different than the rest of your teammates but at least you do have that like rechargeable mobility i always think those new ghosts are people where did island spawn i was right those were i said it was gonna spawn uh so this island spawn is not as important to control i feel like either of the two that i said were not that important to control like I really like just being on island. That way I can AR people from the top of it, you know? But this one is going to quickly be out of zone. So you could go for this. And then, you know, within the next zone, you have that kind of, like, high ground and that advantage. But it's not like this is going to persist for several zones. But you do have some games where, like, the island spawn is, like, more center. And it's going to be, like, relevant for longer in the game. And I feel like that's when you, like, really want to go for it. And, and like, control it. Because if you're able to just be up there and AR people, like, your life is going to be very easy. If you're able to win the initial fights. Oh, there's somebody in front of him. We'll see what he's able to do here. I don't think shooting here is a, a good idea. Because he's not going to get that kill. And he's just going to make that person aware of him. And then that person is going to have a much easier time in this fight. If he had, like, a sniper, then maybe. But an AR or a DMR is not going to get the kill. So giving your location away for that, I, I feel like it's... Not a good play, and so I like that they didn't they didn't force that fight. A lot of people just see somebody and they immediately shoot at them. There is somebody in the slipstream next to them, which is annoying though, because now they kind of have to worry about that person behind them while they're also sneaking up on this person. Which may or may not even be up here anymore because quite a long time has passed because he's like worried about behind him. Hopefully they're not behind this rock. That's weird. This person is like legit using the DMR to scout. Or the thermal DMR to scout. Which I could definitely understand in somewhere like the jungle, but this area is so like open. I feel like you're just going to see people if they're there. I don't know. That's, that's how I feel at least. Like the jungle. Yeah, I would say the jungle is like the only area on the map where I feel like it's like really inconvenient to like see people. 
Like, I feel like you're better off not scoped in and having that, like, wider field of view, you know? This person is going to get their augments. Kind of tempted to go on board with somebody else because I, I think they're just going to chill here because that person was in the slipstream behind them earlier. I think they're, like, really aware, uh, concerned about that. But that might have not even been a person. One thing that's nice, though, is with the next zone, this mountain kind of sucks right now. Like, the back of this mountain is really exposed, and it makes it very hard to even use it as, like, a, you know, position of advantage. But when the zone closes, he's not going to have to worry about that as much because, like, we're on this mountain here, I think. Yeah. So, like, if only this part of it is in zone, we'll see what happens. But if only the, ed like, top edge of the mountain is on zone, it's going to be really good for this player because then once that zone closes, he's not going to have to worry about behind him as much. But we'll see what zone does. Okay, no, he didn't get favored. He needs to get out of here. Is he just not going to? We'll be on board with Joseph Balls. Fighting for Island, so. But that player, I, I don't know if they're still playing the game or not that we were just spectating, but as soon as you don't get zone, I think you want to rotate. Because there's not as much, like, mobility in that area. I mean, he does have the katana, but there's not, like, launch pads or anything. And so, if he waits until last moment to try to go to zone, it's going to be, like, hard to get through, like, uh, all of Mega City, you know? And a lot of people just wait until the last possible moment to rotate, and it makes it, it makes their life much harder than it needs to be, I, I think. There's somebody I want to spectate. Which, of course, it's going to be, like, the last person it allows me to spectate. And then Joseph Balls fights somebody. Oh, it's not even going to let me spectate them. That's unfortunate. That's weird. There's a player who I recognize in this lobby that I've fought like several times and like they're a solid player. But unfortunately it's not gonna let me spectate them, so I guess we're just gonna watch this person on island. He's using all his slurps, but he's gonna get a He's using all his splashes, but he's gonna get a slurp back. I don't really agree with having uh the DMR and the MK. Uh, it is what it is though, if that's what this person wants to use. It it makes more sense, I guess, than like uh Twin Mag and MK would. I don't understand what's going on here. Is this person just playing for heal off? I'm I'm genuinely very confused right now. Get off island and please go into zone. What are you doing? Uh, but anyways, the you could argue like that the DMR is going to be good for really long range, especially with the zoom. I, I don't think it's good at all. I have a video about that, or it's like not going to be good for most people. Uh, but if you are going to use the DMR and another AR, the MK is probably the best choice because you can also kind of use that as like a pseudo SMG. Um, and this is going to be hard for this person to live here, I think. Luckily, they have that DMR though. But uh, yeah, I, I don't think this person survives this fight at all. Maybe if that person in Mega has no mobility, then may like sure. But like, it's just going to be very hard for them to even get back in the game at this point because they were like looting on island for so long. That now they made it into zone, they don't have their slurp, and they have no shield. If they were like a little less greedy with loot, I think their situation in this game would have been better. There's a rift right in front of them. If I was them, I would rift and then go into naughty nets and hopefully loot some of this. Uh, their situation is not great. They need either a kill or loot. Like, the, the game isn't going to be good for them. If they have keys, there are key boxes up that hill. I think, to their right. But they need to do something. One of my least favorite things is when someone's in a bad spot like this and then they just choose to do nothing and then they kind of, like, lose slowly. This game isn't going to get better for them unless, like I said, they get a kill or they get some loot over here. There's a person right next to them. Bro, this is bizarre. I, I thought this person was going to be... Like, solid? Put these barrels. I don't know why they didn't fight that Spider-Man. And why that Spider-Man didn't fight them. Like, so many people are so scared to do anything, bro. This... Might have been the person that was, like, ARing them a lot. They have a crown.
Oh, the previous uh, carbide we spectated is still in the game. Three people remain. That's that carbide we spectated. There's somebody behind him as well. That's the player we were just spectating. This should be an easy win for this player that we're currently on board with, I think. Because zone is like pulled up behind them, right? Yeah. So all these people that went to Naughty Nets have to worry about getting back over here. And that's kind of the struggle that that player that we were spectating was in. Like I said, they should rift and go Naughty Nets. Unfortunately, everybody in the lobby was there. And also zone pulled off. So it definitely made their life much harder. But like... Unless they have forecasts, they don't know where zone is going to be, you know? And it's like, if you if that player didn't get more loot, they were going to be out of the game. This The person that's shooting them is the person that was previously shooting the person we were watching from island. This is going to be a hard fight to win. They do have the exotic maven, though. Oh, this should be a win. Yeah, okay, so the witches keep pressing. Do not let that person survive, man. Oh my gosh. That's what I was talking about with the Witch's Broom. There's like an animation after you land to take your gun back out. That was the player I wanted to spectate. The one that just died. I fight that player a decent amount. They're a good player. But there's that animation after you use the Witch's Broom where you land and then have to take your gun out. And that is like the only thing that allowed this player to get back in the game. If that animation wasn't a thing, the person that died down there wins that fight 100%. Like I know that I fight that player like a couple times a week. They're a good player. Uh, but because of that animation and this player having the exotic maven it just allowed them to like get back into the fight and then win that game But that is why I would just avoid the witch's broom personally um, If you do use it you have to use it more strategically You can't just use it to like get on somebody like that because that animation is gonna cost you But that is gonna be it for this video as always if you guys found this helpful informative interesting Remember to give it a like subscribe if you like see more Let me know what you guys think of four nightmares down in the comments below and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching